Um, this is SWOT analysis of yourself. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Amin with Sira Masters developing the Muslim mindset for success. Quick story um, when I got to the job that I spoke in previous video, I started a new job, okay? And you know, there were a few things that made me question how good this workplace is gonna be, how professional, etc., etc. For example, the guy that interviewed me, he was talking badly about his co workers, and I was like, that's not good. Anyway, I ended up taking the job, whatever. Now, first week in the, in the job, he asks me, go ahead, um, analyze this, 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 and then do a SWOT analysis and come back to me with it. SWOT analysis is something that I learned in uh, business studies, in GCSE business studies, okay? So also, I have business background, right? So when he said uh, SWOT analysis, I thought, that's a bit weird, it's a bit amateur in my mind, I don't know how useful it is, etc. But anyway, I went ahead and did it, and turned out he didn't really know what he was doing. But anyway, this is a separate idea and this is to do a SWOT analysis of yourself. Because I'm driving the other day and I, and I think, I was talking about confidence in another previous video and I said, you have to know your strengths and go all in on those strengths. And that got me thinking about SWOT analysis. Um, and so SWOT analysis is S-W-O-T. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. I think it's pretty uh, useful to do it on yourself. Sit down, get a piece of paper, divide into four, okay? Do a, a plus sign in the middle, divide into four, and list your strengths, okay? Your strengths are gonna be the things you're gonna, you're gonna want to put a lot of effort in doing more and more and more often, and getting really good at those things you're already strong at, as I mentioned in my previous video about confidence. Your weaknesses, are gonna be things that, if they're not sins, you're gonna to have to pay specific attention to ignoring them when people kind of criticize you about them, okay? Because a lot of the time, we're not, we don't really want to fix weaknesses, we just wanna strengthen strengths. If it is a sin, that's gonna be something that you're gonna to have to prioritize, so uh, it, it, this, is, this is the biggest sin I'm doing, that's my weakness, um, I do that kind of sin quite a lot, and so, I'm gonna to have to get rid of that first because it's the biggest one and then this and this and this. So sins, definitely, that's where the weakness is. You're gonna take action on fixing them. But as for weaknesses in terms of skills, throw out the window in my opinion. Then we've got um, SWO, opportunities. So opportunities are places where, for example, you put in your strengths that um, you find reading Quran really enjoyable and you're good at it and you don't stutter and you're good at it, right? So you can read a lot. Now, if you're not reading a lot, what does that mean? It means it's an opportunity to do more. So a lot of the time, your opportunities, you can um, look at your strengths and develop those into opportunities. So you said your strength is reading Quran, boom, add that to opportunities, turn it into something that you can do more of, right? Um, so that's, you know, opportunities, you get the point. Um, and then T is threats. Threats are weaknesses where they could really hurt you. So like I said, um, you know, you, you, there are certain sins, certain types of sins. For example, you're loose with your tongue, you know, you talk about people, you backbite, you mention things you don't need to mention, um, people tell you stuff and you pass on that information, these kind of things. Um, that's a threat, okay? Because let's say 80% of your sins is coming from 20% of your uh, actions. Okay, your types of actions. So you gotta focus on those, that 80% and say, how do I get rid of them? That's a real threat to my akhirah. I need to be specific about how I'm gonna deal with it. Okay, so that's a real threat, okay? Um, same with, you know, let's say, I don't know, you're in, your, you're in a certain career, right? And you've, there are five main skills you need in this job, okay? And you're really good at four of them, and one is really holding you back from moving forward and really being the best. So I would say that's a threat. That's something that you might want to work on, you know? So there you go. Threats, you feel that in as well. Now you've got a picture of how you want to, like, based on this, you could plan for Ramadan, you could plan for the year ahead, you could plan for the next six months, next three months. It kind of gives you an idea, you know what I mean? So I think it's a pretty useful exercise, especially since it will take, I would say it will take 10 minutes, you know? Think about it, but don't, like, take ages with it. You could do about five to 10 points in each box, 
and you're good, you know? So I just thought of this idea. To be honest with you, I haven't done it myself, um, but I guess that's because I've done it in my head, um, you know, kind of subconsciously, right? But it would be useful for me to also do that. So uh, I need to get to that, inshallah. Um, this is SWOT analysis of yourself. Um, yeah, I hope it helps. And uh, let me know in the comments, uh, ideas for videos. And if you actually did this exercise, did it help you? Was it a waste of time? Okay, salam alaikum. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in how to design your mindset and design your lifestyle as a Muslim so you can get everything you want done, then make sure you subscribe to this channel for at least weekly videos and check out the website right there where you can download free mindset resources and look at our blog with all the articles and stuff there. Uh, check it out and uh, see you.